Now, again, you understand, 600 pounds per square inch of crushing power, okay? You make a mistake, you're going to the hospital, okay? Mom, is that okay? Yes. She says I can, she says it is, okay. <laughs>
basically their eyesight's very, very good. A lot of movement frightens them. And so when I have them transporting in a car, we want them blindfolded so they don't get as stressed when, when we're transporting them. So this is our little girl peregrine. She's ready to go. Again, she got run over. She had a, a huge scrape on her head, and she had some uh, damage, soft tissue damage in her wings, but that's all healed up now. It looks beautiful. It's all healed. There's a big scrape right there. Um, but she's, she's ready and ready to go. So that's, that's wonderful. go get out of here and the interesting thing both of these peregrines the male's been with us for several months like I said probably about four months female's been with us for more than a month and uh, they both came uh, from kind of inside Cedar City area and I have a pair of peregrines that uh, nest uh, up the canyon from us, from the Cedar Canyon Nature Park. And I really wonder if this might not be the male and female for that pair. They're the appropriate age, and to have two of them come in a few months apart out of the exact same area, there's probably a pretty good chance. So these guys did not get a chance to breed this year, which is unfortunate. Okay, well, we got the two peregrine falcons loaded up now it's the golden eagle's turn again this particular golden eagle was in really bad shape uh so people found it out west of town out in the fields and uh was barely moving i you know i got i got a phone call i got there about 9 30 10 o'clock at night and um, they just put it in a wooden box on their porch and it just laid there. It couldn't. It couldn't raise its head. It couldn't move. And and I thought it was dead before we, we even got to it. But we were able to get to it. And and to be honest with you, we're not sure if it was some kind of poisoning. There didn't appear to be any significant injuries to it. And so I, I'm assuming it ate something that was bad for it. We got its system flushed out. Lots of fluids into it. Got it. Got it to start eating. And here's our here's our girl right now. That's our female. Can and she's a you? she's a nice big female golden. Let me make sure I shut this. Now, if you, if you look carefully, what you'll see is you'll see some black feathers on her back. That's her juvenile feathers. Can you lock this so I don't. This is latched. Okay. That's that's her juvenile feathers, and the eagle that's with her is our is our juvenile bald eagle, that uh, we've had. We're still it's still waiting for feathers to grow in, for the, for the bald eagle. But the the golden eagle is about three years old. And so whatever, whatever she ate that was made her incredibly sick, we've got her over it and, uh, and she's ready and raring to go. And let's see if I can get in there and get her and get her out of the way without dist disturbing them too much. So got to rock and roll here. Hey, sweetie. back to the other side. There you go. Off you go. Yeah. What a good kid. Open it? Yes. Open it. Off of his down. There you go.
Okay. You want to check and make sure I lost this? Is that okay? That's okay, and we put the padlock on it. Good. Okay, just like the uh, peregrine falcons, uh, we want to hood her so that it uh, helps keep her calm while, we're, while she's being transported. And, uh, they all have huge crops full of food. They do. Okay, certainly a whole lot different critter than a, than a peregrine falcon. She's quite the, the hefty girl. I would bet she's somewhere in the neighborhood of 13, 14 pounds. She's had all she's wanted to eat for a couple of months. And uh, so again, she's just ready to rock and roll. Aren't you, sweetheart? Uh, it'd be so good to get her back in the wild where she belongs. Okay, this is our little girl. Again, look at those feet on her. They're ginormous. Look at those things. Can you guys get a good look at that? 600 pounds per square inch of crushing power. She can easily drive those talons through my hand and crush the small bones of my hand. So it's really good that I'm careful because she could really hurt you very badly. So when you come up across an animal like this, please don't try to pick it up by yourself. They can be extremely dangerous. And we talked a little bit about the coloration, how I know that this is about a three-year-old. And the way you can tell is, you see these black feathers? That's juvenile. These are adult feathers, these are juvenile feathers. And, and so with the darker feathers, that's, that's juvenile. And, that's okay, sweetie. And you can see right here, you see the the white on her tail right there? That white is, again, that's uh, juvenile. The tail lo starts losing the white, and they lose all the white in the tail when they're five. And so that's how we can tell their age. Okay, sweetie. You are a big girl. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, we're loaded. Martin Tyner, founder of the Southwest Wildlife Foundation of Utah, is a federally licensed wildlife rehabilitator, educator, propagator, and master falconer with over 50 years of experience. Okay. Hi, yes, you can bite me. That's wonderful. I would like that. So this is this is my book. This is called Healer of Angels. So if you ever like uh, animal stories, this is 40 years of wildlife rescue stories and the wisdom of grandparents. And I... My wife and I, we autograph each and every one of them, but what's even more important than me autographing the books is that um, you get my eagle's autograph as well. What this is here is this is a rubber stamp of my eagle. His name is Scout. This is his footprint. We stamp each and every book with Scout's footprint when you buy them directly through our Wildlife Rescue Center. And so that's what it looks like. That is... That's Scout's footprint. Yeah, if, you, if you buy the book directly through our Wildlife Rescue Center website, all of the profits from the sale of the book go to or help feed sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife. That's the only way that you get the autographed copy. Welcome, everybody. Um, you know, this, this is not a, a public event because of the coronavirus pandemic. You know, we can't do big groups of people. So this is this is just, uh, just a release, and we have a few people that just kind of came up and and uh, happen to be here, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, unique situation, uh, we're going to be releasing three animals today, uh, two peregrine falcons and a golden eagle, and uh, I think KN wants to release a peregrine, don't you? Sure. Okay, so, Vicki, do you want to release <laughs> a peregrine? Never done that before. Sure. Okay, well that's fine. Well, what I'm going, going to do is I'll, I'll get the, the bird out of the box, that's the most dangerous part, and I'll, and I'll explain to you how to hold it properly. And uh, we, we will walk down just the trail around to, to the open space and, and then we'll throw it off the mountain. Okay, this is a peregrine falcon. This is the anatom peregrine, the endangered species that you guys have heard so much about over the years. This particular peregrine um, was hit by a car. In fact, it was hit by a car just uh, right down there, just, just the other side of town. And uh, 
This is kind of interesting because we have this peregrine, which is a full adult. It was hit, hit right there. And then, uh, and we've had this one about four months. So it missed the breeding season, unfortunately, because we had to get it healed up. And then we've got another peregrine in a female that was just right down there at the mouth of the canyon as well. And I have a sneaking suspicion. We have a nesting pair of peregrines that are just right over there up the canyon. And I got a feeling this is the male and female from the pair. And so that's, that's kind of unique to release both a male and a female of the same pair the same day. And so unfortunately they did miss the breeding season. We feel real bad about that, but there's nothing we could do about that. But we're gonna go ahead and get him, him turned loose. Now, some of the things that you need to understand is the breeze is kind of coming down the mountain. It's, and so as he flies out, he's not gonna go up. He's gonna go down and, and he's, he's gonna go wherever he goes. Sometimes when you release these guys, they just fly off a short distance, land, and try to figure out what's just happened. You know, where are they? Sometimes they just kind of blast out and disappear in a matter of seconds. So we really don't know. So let's go ahead and come on KN and everybody if you want, or you can stand at the railing if you like. And we'll go ahead and release this, this little guy. This is what I want you to do. Uh, the most important thing is, is have control of the feet. And so I'm going to hand the bird to you and I want to take it with your right hand. I want you to grab the, the feet just like I've got them here. Okay. You don't have to grab them you just snug, but you don't have to try to break them. Okay. And the, and the other hand just have it on the back and you can kind of hold the wings together. Okay. And then I don't throw them until I tell you to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because I have to remove the hood. I guess that would be And fun. after I remove the hood, you can feel the breeze is coming a little bit this direction. Throw them into the breeze. Okay. 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 So that hand, get those feet. There you go. Put that finger down a little bit. You got those feet nice? I think so. Okay. Let's go find out. We're going to unhood this pretty little guy. You get to see how cute he is. He's a very pretty little fellow. There's our little falcon. Wow. Isn't Hi, he beautiful? Guys. Now for those of you that don't know, this is Kayan, and Kayan's one of my volunteers, and she helps us with our little songbirds. And so she's been helping us with hummingbirds and finches and sparrows and robins and all those kinds of things. I think she deserves a, a wildlife release for all the, all the hard work that she's done for us. So we, we appreciate everything that KN does as one of our volunteers. And whenever you're ready, just okay, so throw it that way. Here he goes. Oh, that feels good. See that big rouse in the sky? He says, oh, oh, I'm free. It's, oh, been, awesome. it's been months. Flew out of sight already. I can't oh, see him. No, he's right here. He's, he's, come, right he's here. coming right over here. the top, Sue. Oh, right there. Right there. Yep, he's happy to be free. Very, very, very happy. Isn't that wonderful? be the last person on the planet to ever touch that beautiful land. So how does that feel? Amazing. Oh good. Awesome, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. She has her hood on as well. Let's see. Oh she does, she still has her hood on. She's gonna be footy. She's on her in a defensive posture on her back. We got you sweetie. Okay, can't see, so I've got my feet up to grab. Yes, she does. Now, this is a female peregrine. Isn't she beautiful? And uh, as you can see, she's quite a bit larger. In all birds of prey, the females are about a third larger than the males. And, and so she's a little bit bigger than the other one. Again, full adult. This is probably the mate to the one that we just released, so the male we just released. This is probably his mate, and uh, because of the location they came from, um, and so we're pretty excited to get to get them both back. And like I said, they're nesting in the canyon right over here, and and so they're within sight of of, of their nesting habitat, which is really really good for them. So let's go get get her down. Yes. Did you phone, Charles? Mine's charging. Oh. Okay, come right here, Vicky. 
Now, for those of you that don't know, this is my daughter. This is uh, Vicki, and and Vicki has uh, been one of my volunteers since she was itty bitty little child. She was helping us with the critters, and uh, so we're going to tell you the same thing. You know, hold the feet like this. Get your hand on the back. So do, do it the other way. Do, do, there you go. Yeah. Okay. You got. You got her. There got we her. go. Okay. We're going to unhook the, the pretty little girl. So you can see how pretty she is. Oh yeah. You want to bite, don't you, sweetheart? That's my Hi, girl. Baby. Such a pretty falcon. There's my girl. Okay. There's our pretty, pretty in autumn peregrine. Kind of throw it into the wind as much as you can. Hi, you ready to go? There she goes. And she's heading back, actually right toward her nesting, nesting site. So that's oh, wonderful. she's going to soar a little bit. Oh. I've got hair under my wings again. That feels so good. And so this is this has been a real a pair that, that I've known about for many, many years, and they come over the, the, the nature park, and I haven't seen them at the nature park this year. And so I'm going to be willing At least to, one of them is that pair, if not both. I think they're both. I think they're both from the from the same pair. Uh, I think they're, you know, it's a really incredibly rare opportunity uh, to return not only one wild animal back to the wild, but return some mate as well. And, and so we've reunited the pair of peregrines. Uh, like I said, the sad thing is they didn't get a chance to breed this year because of their injuries, but hopefully next year uh, they'll be back in the canyon and raising babies. So let's go get the eagle. Being an eagle scout, yeah. He earned his eagle. Gonna, yes. Yeah, we're kind of. I should okay. leave other people's cars. So I have your hood on. Yes, you do. Wonderful, sweetie. Where did you, where did you, here, you, you Where have you kept the eagle at? The eagle's right here. Where does he keep it at, though? At our rescue center. Oh, very cool. You know, I, I uh, have a wildlife rescue center here in southern Utah. How far away is it? Just down well, in, it's, it's down right the now valley. all the rescue's done at my house out in the valley, but at the b bottom of the canyon here we have our nature park property that we're raising money for. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, sweetie. Now, again, this is the most dangerous part. She has a hood on so she can't see, but I have to get those feet. And you guys saw how big the peregrine's feet were and how dangerous those feet are. These are... Nothing <laughs> compared to these. And so I have to... It's 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 going to be a little abrupt because I have to be I have to be very very quick when I do that. Once I commit, if I miss, I'm going to the hospital. So I don't want to miss. So he's got his back to me, which makes it a little bit difficult to see those legs. But I've got to see both legs. Got him. Come on, sweetie. We got you. Shh, 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 shh. She is so strong. Okay. Lost my glasses. <laughs> I'm glad that's all you lost. Yep. Could have been much she, worse. She is huge. She's a big girl. Oh, strong. yeah, she's incredibly <laughs> powerful. Okay. Now, remember the feet of the peregrine falcon, guys? Look oh. at those. The reason he wasn't wearing gloves is it wouldn't have done any good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah she could her. crush my, the small bones in my hand right through gloves. Yeah, right. So it, does, it doesn't help. And I need to have the ability yeah. to yeah. feel what I'm grabbing. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so that's why I'm not wearing gloves when I handle her. Right. Now, um, for all, all of our friends, this is going on on our YouTube channel, for all of our friends uh, on, on YouTube, let me tell you a little bit about the eagle. You know, the eagle is uh, 
to many people around the world a sacred symbol. Um, to many people around the world, they believe that if you say your prayers with an eagle feather, the eagle feather will carry your prayers to God. This eagle has over 7,000 feathers. 7,000. And so when I do an eagle release, we quite frequently seek out individuals or organizations that could use some extra prayers and actually let them release the eagle, just like I let uh, KN and Vicky release the peregrine falcons today. Um, because of the coronavirus, we can't, obviously, we can't do that. And, and so as, as far as doing that, uh, a public release is not possible right now. But I would love to encourage everybody that when we release this big, beautiful eagle, um, take a moment while the video is, while the eagle is being released. Um, you know, we, ha we are in the midst of one of the, the worst pandemics in human history. And there's been an awful lot of people that we've lost. And there's been an awful lot of people who have been incredibly courageous. And I'll, and I'll point out my daughter, Vicki, because she's, a, she's a, a nurse here. People who have put their lives on the line um, to save everybody else. And, and uh, not only the healthcare workers, first responders, um, even the people that you know, work at the post office and the grocery stores who go to work every day knowing full well that this is a highly contagious pandemic and they're still willing to get up every day and go to work. And I would like everyone to take that moment as this eagle soars back into the sky to, to just remember that, that we're all in this together, guys. This is, this is really, really important. Yeah. There is nothing more healing on the planet than to watch a beautiful eagle soar back to the wild. So come on, let's go, let's go let this eagle go. And I, I know I haven't been to your quarter barn. You want to release the eagle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this is a lot more dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have to do exactly what I tell you. Okay. You think you can handle it? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Come, come on down with me. And this wasn't planned this way. You just happened to be here. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. I just okay. texted Lifetime. Kayan and yeah, right my daughter here. before we left. Okay, just wait, 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 turn around this way. There you go, just like that. Okay. That way we can get your pictures. Now, let me explain to everybody. This is Nathan. And in, was it May? Yeah. Was it May? In May, I was scheduled to do his Boy Scout Eagle Court of Honor to bring my life Eagle Scout and to do a presentation to his Court of Honor because he has earned the rank of Eagle Scout. And we didn't plan this. Uh, Nathan and his family just happened to be up here at the Sea Overlook with us um, but again he has earned the rank of Eagle Scout and uh, he's a strapping young man I think he can handle it if he does exactly what I tell him that, that uh, we'll go ahead and let Nathan release his eagle back to the wild to be the last person on the planet to ever touch him does that sound cool okay so Nathan this is what I want you to do I'm going to hand you the eagle but the first thing I want you to do is put your arms straight out okay both, both hands straight out a little more, more wide like that and I'm going to take the eagle and I'm going to push him in against your chest and because he is so big you can't just hold him like this yeah. I, I want you to wrap both arms around him hold him down up, up, you know kind of low low on your chest and I want you to have each leg like this you can see he's very or she is very very strong and so I want I want her you know kind of wrapped in your arms you can see how much she can fight but if you if you just kind of hang on She'll settle, and, and so I'm going to push her into your chest. Now, again, you understand, 600 pounds per square inch of crushing power, okay? You make a mistake, you're going to the hospital, okay? Mom, is that okay? Yes. She says I can, she says it is, okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push you into your chest, wrap your arms around, and then I want you to get each leg, one in each hand. Okay, I got her. It's okay, sweetie. You got each each leg. Watch your hand a little bit further down. Hand a little further down that leg. There you go. You got them good. Okay. Gee, she's a strong animal. Yeah. It's surprising to people how strong they are. Okay. And I'm going to remove the hood, and you just take a moment, and I want you to throw her kind of that way as oh, much as you bro. can. Hmm? Okay. When you have her like this, I want you to just take a step forward and push. Just wait. 
Push wait away. for the hood to come off. Okay, but yeah, wait for the hood to come <laughs> off. Obviously, we can't let her go with the hood on. Okay, big girl. Don't, There's my don't trip on the rock. There's my little lady. Or the hole behind it. Get this thing off of you here. Shh. Okay. A little scary. We are. Okay. It's all yours.